Hello, um, this is part two. So in this video I'm going to talk about two things. Um, the reason why I started to want to lose weight and um, actually how I lost the weight. So if you haven't seen part one, uh, it will be down in the description. And that is um, the reason why I actually gained a lot of the weight. But uh, this is something that you guys are really... <laughs> You guys probably been wanting to see. I think this is one that uh, will be most beneficial to a lot of you guys. Um, and yeah, so the reason why I started, why I wanted to lose weight, was <laughs> it's a pretty common reason for a lot of people, and it, it is for a girl. I wanted to lose weight because I liked a girl. Really dumb. I mean, I didn't get the girl, but I uh, I got into the gym, so. I gained something out of it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I did it. I, I, I'm, I didn't. I don't know why, but I really like this girl, and I thought she's not gonna like me the way I look now. So I'm gonna change, and I, I, I changed. I. That's the reasoning. Um, so basically, I um, I lost weight for a girl. Now, the thing that you guys all want to know is how I actually lost 110 pounds in seven months. Um, I lost 110 pounds in seven months by doing something very, very rare that not a lot of people do. Psych, very simple. I was in a caloric deficit. And a caloric deficit is basically where you eat under your maintenance calories. And the way that you find your maintenance calories, there's multiple ways to find it online. I'll link some in the description um, down below. For you guys, um, how to find your maintenance calories, but uh, the way that I would recommend to find your maintenance calories is just for like a week straight, pick like a number and eat that number and see if you gain or lose weight, and uh, adjust from there until you find out what uh, what your maintenance calories is. So what I did, and um, yeah, I was around I think 24, 2300 was my maintenance. Um, didn't have very much muscle. That was definitely it. Did not have very much muscle, so I started to lose weight, and um, yeah. So my actual caloric deficit was pretty big. It was 300 calories at first for the first about month, month and a half, two months, um, and then I went down to 800 caloric deficit. That means I was consuming around 1,500 calories a day, which is very, very hard for some people, and it was really easy for me because I was doing something called intermittent fasting. And that means that I was eating all my calories in a, um, in a six hour eating window. So I was doing 18 hours of fasting and then I was eating in a six hour eating window. So that means I would stop eating around nine at night, so 9 p.m. And then I would go to sleep, wake up the next day, um, go throughout my day, keep myself busy in the morning because I feel like that really was key and that really helped. And then I would eat at around 3 p.m. Sometimes a little earlier if I was really hungry or I needed to eat. Sometimes a little later. And um, I would eat for, I would eat my 1500 calories for the next six hours and I would eat all of them in that six hours. And that really helps you feel like you're consuming a lot of food and you feel really full. I just actually finished eating my, uh, my meal today. And uh, it was really good. I had some broccoli, I had some grilled chicken, I had cottage cheese, I had some oatmeal, and I had uh, a protein shake. And I, that was one of my meals for today. I'll probably have another meal. It's going to be a little bit lighter. I'll probably have um, like a spoon, like two spoons of peanut butter, um, another thing of grilled chicken, maybe two eggs, and then um, some fruit or something, fruit or vegetables. And uh, that's probably what I'm going to eat later today. Um... Yeah, that's basically how it was done. I stayed at a caloric deficit and I did intermittent fasting. Some people, they, um, things that help them with intermittent fasting are things such as eating, um, one really big meal. And that kind of worked for me. I, you could have a big meal for 1500 calories. You could have, you could eat McDonald's for 1500 calories and you could get two Big Macs and a fry. Like, you could eat, like, that is, not good for you and it, you will definitely not feel as full as if you had three grilled chicken breasts, eggs, broccoli, um, brown or white rice, oatmeal, yogurt, uh, Greek yogurt, 
fruits and vegetables. You will feel much you will feel much better eating that than eating McDonald's. But I mean, that's where the whole uh, flexible dieting comes in with uh, with that. Um, lately, I actually have been tracking my macronutrients, which is my fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, and I have been doing that. I've actually been doing a very low carb diet lately just to shed these last few pounds because I am very carb sensitive so I lose weight very rapidly if I have a low carb diet because my body burns fat up like that. Um, I'm still eating around 1500 to 1700 calories a day training like I said in the last or I don't know if I did say this I'm training around five to six times a week I do a three day split so I do back and biceps chest and triceps and legs and shoulders and then usually on my off day I still like to go into the gym and do some like accessories on whatever I feel like I need to work on and uh, just do stuff like that. Um, I work. I do three compound movements on each of them on uh, their special their respective day. So I do uh, incline bench and flat bench on my uh, chest and triceps day. I do deadlifts on back day which the lifts aren't really uh, really necessary, but um, I I do feel like they they definitely add a lot. And then I do um, squats on my leg day. I also do overhead press, um, stuff like that, uh, flat dumbbell press, uh, incline dumbbell press, stuff like that. Really help build that chest, you know, build that chest. And then uh, for shoulders, try to build some shoulder definition. You know, we're getting there. I'm not quite the most muscular person. I'm not quite the leanest either. You know, but definitely made, seen progress. Um, yeah, and the way the way I lost the weight is through that. Is through those two key things, and I feel like if you really go all in and you track everything, which is another thing. Good thing I brought that up. I tracked everything on an app called My Fitness Pal. Super great app. Really, really helpful. Made it a lot easier for me. Um, and yeah, I, I think that was really, those are the things that I did to help me lose weight. I'm gonna have one more video that is uh, all the tips and stuff that I would have for losing weight, especially if you have to lose a lot of weight. These things can really help you. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and um, I said 20 likes last time. I think we got like, like eight or nine. Um, if we can get t 10 likes on this video, I will post the uh, tips and tricks on my next video today. I will do that today. I'll make that today. And um, yeah, thank you guys. Um, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. And if you guys have any questions, a good thing to, a good way to communicate with me is uh, through Twitter. Um, my Twitter is uh, Liam underscore Anthony with two Y's. And um, yeah, I'm on Twitter. Go DM me if you guys need any help. Um, any questions on what I eat in a day, anything I can do to help you guys, I will do my best to do. Yeah, thanks for watching.